exists and what Kirby talks about is how we become an unimaginative land, a place without imagination where we, we, we cease to use um, an imagination um, you know, when it comes to foreign policy, political policy, economic policy, uh, etc. And he specifically talks about how after 9-11 there is a complete lack of imagination, um, complete lack of critical thinking in the United States. Because we get, you know, an incredible, um, you know, fear boner from 9-11 where people are just raging patriots, raging afraid. Um, I mean, you know, one motherfucker fails and puts a bomb in his shoe. And for almost 20 years now, we got to all take off our shoes in only the United States. Mind you, most other countries, you don't have to do that because of this one, one, one dude. But, um, you know, basically, there, this is, you know, a commentary on how after 9-11, you know, the media, the government, you know, created this mass fear, these terrorism alerts. Oh, it's on orange. Oh, travel advisory. You better not go to another country, you know, blah, blah, blah. You better not travel. Right. An important part is like when you try to predict the unexpected, it creates anxiety. And I think that's a thing a lot of us are experiencing right now with the unpredictable elements of COVID-19 and coronavirus and stuff like that is that like the fact that you can't predict it, you can't, um, you know, you don't know what to anticipate. It makes people anxious because we like to know like the no stuff, right? Um, and risk is more like a state of becoming real. That's a very important thing, right? Risk, fear, however you want to think about it, um, makes the threat more real than it maybe actually is. Okay, and how did the United States respond to, you know, this risk, the threat, threat of terrorism, right? Um, you know, and we see this in the Imagination Land trilogy, um, is denial, right? Um, you know, or prevention, and we see this through the U.S. government in Imagination Land where, you know, um, they're just trying to prevent our imaginations from running wild, so they're, they're oh, let's nuke it. Um, we have apathy. So how do people respond to risk or threat is with apathy. I'm just going to go, whatever, it doesn't matter. Cartman's just so fixated on getting his uh, balls sucked um, you know, that he's apathetic to what's going on in the whole situation. He doesn't care about his friends who are stuck there, etc. Um, and then, ultimately, how we want to respond to risk and threat is through transformation. Critical thought, right? Like, actually changing something, right? So, we see these representations in um, imagination land in, in various ways. Now, what happens is you can have uh, what Kirby talks about is what's called a cosmopolitan moment, okay? And this is when, you know, um, divisions disappear or at least go away, and this is very temporary, you know? Um, you know, um, national divisions, racial divisions, ethnic, gender divisions all go away as we fight a common enemy, Okay? Um, we all become, quote-unquote, citizens of the world. I mean, I think you maybe kind of see that with uh, the coronavirus in some instances in some countries, but then you also see cavalier, chauvinist attitudes um, like you primarily see here in the United States, at least um, with our, our federal government. Um, but, you know, you know, things that we can think of um, that have exemplified a cosmopolitan moment would be like the Me Too movement, um, the Black Lives Matter movement, Arab Spring, um, Occupy Wall Street, um, the uh, Fukushima uh, tsunami and the earthquake in Japan, uh, Hurricane Katrina, all those things, are, you know, and what we're experiencing now, I mean, should be a cosmopolitan moment, right, where we, we all just become citizens. And you see that in some ways, where uh, countries are helping other countries, states are helping other states, you know, divisions are kind of crumbling to fight a common enemy, right, that can, that can attack us all. Um, but, uh, you know, 
what happens in this moment is we pay attention to issues we commonly ignore. I mean, think about now. Issues, health issues, uh, like hygiene, you know, um, like social space, all these things, you know, uh, the health systems, right? These are all things like we, we, we usually just don't pay that much attention, uh, attention to. So this happens all the time in cosmopolitan moments, you know, where you start to worry about, you know, nuclear energy with Fukushima, or you start to, you know, think about, you know, race in America with the Black Lives Matter and, you know, uh, you know, police brutality, <clears throat> racialized p police brutality um, through that movement, or you start to think about, you know, um, sexual abuse and rape um, in, in Hollywood, um, et cetera. So you start to think about issues that you commonly ignore or that are not talked about. Um, and again, like, what happens is when we see a common enemy, former enemies can be partners, and that's like an important um, important element of the cosmopolitan, cosmopol eh, cosmopolitan um, moment as Kirby talks about. And I think like in all of this, and he describes this as like when we have these moments, and they're very, you know, every few years or, or, or longer, you know, how do we work through them needs to have, you know, an element of creative thinking, critical thinking, and imagination. How you get through those challenging times, you know, and unify and come together as people, right, is ultimately going to require imagination and critical thinking. Anyways, that's a little bit about patriotism and, uh, you know, terrorism and nationalism um, and some ways to think, think about it maybe through the lens of South Park. Again, there's so many episodes that kind of dip into these, these topics, so it's hard to really just quantify them here. But I think these are two really good examples that, you know, highlight um, some of the issues of immigration and also highlight, um, you know, what patriotism is, what it isn't, how nativism and, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, jingoism are a part of societies and the role of uh, having an imagination and critical thought um, into working creatively with threats of terror or any type of threat um, is, you know, exemplified in some of these South Park episodes and also poked fun at. So anyways, uh, Hope you're good. We'll chat soon. Our next class, we are going to talk about celebrity uh, in South Park, and we are going to watch episodes 200 and 201 and deal with a little bit with um, censorship, um, celebrity, uh, me, me, slander, and defamation, stuff like that. So keep it locked here. Cindy 399, The Real Dr. Dre. I'm out for now.